Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video I will be doing a review of the Paranoid Android ROM 6.0 for the OnePlus X. A lot of you guys have requested me for this review so here I am with it. First of all, let's go into settings and let's hop into about phone. As you can see, this ROM runs on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. And the security patch level of this ROM is May 1st 2016. You can also update this ROM from Android, Android updates. And uh, there is no need for you to flash anything else to update this ROM. This is the initial build uh, or the first build of this ROM. And uh, you can hope for a lot of updates in future. Going back. One of the cons of this ROM is that it does not come with FM radio and uh, now one of the biggest pros of this ROM is that it supports the theme engine of Cyanogen mod and it can be installed in this ROM and the themes from Cyanogen works quite well with it. This ROM has some cool features also. If you go into the multitasking tray you will notice a small icon here which is also known as the immersive mode or the floating window. So suppose you are in WhatsApp and you want to go into settings without exiting WhatsApp. So just click on the multitasking tray and then click on the floating window icon on top of settings. And you will notice that a small window will pop up in, over your WhatsApp and without closing it permanently. And uh, you can do anything you want here, like you can uh, connect your device to some Bluetooth devices or you can turn on and off Wi Fi. So, now let's talk about the notification panel. If you slide your finger from the left side of the notification panel, you will get all your notifications here with one swipe and if you slide it from the right side of the notification uh, drawer tray you will get uh, all the quick toggles in one swipe this is not a new feature but it is cool to have in a ROM so now here you get all your toggles but you can also rearrange them by holding them like this and you can also delete these toggles by pulling them down to the trash can and you can also add toggles by clicking on the plus button here so now let's talk about the camera of this device it comes uh, this ROM comes with a snapdragon camera and this is uh, way better than the camera on the oxygen os if you go into settings you will uh, get here a bunch of options you can manually control a lot of things in this camera and uh, if you go into resolution it can shoot pictures up till 30 megapixels and that to in 16 is to 9 ratio now if you go into video hop into video and then go into settings you can uh, bump up the video video quality to 4k dci which is uh, incredible in my opinion Snapdragon 801 supports uh, 4K recording but sadly we weren't getting it with the Oxygen OS and, uh, now we, and now we will get it with this ROM without any mods or anything like that. So now talking about the battery life of this device, it is nothing short of incredible. I was getting, uh, I was getting like uh, almost near around uh, 4 hours and 30 minutes of battery life and still 30% of it left uh, plus uh, there are some battery saving options with this you can optimize your applications to use less battery and uh, there is also a battery saver one of the letdown of this ROM is that it does not come with any ambient display which is short of bad in my opinion since all the other ROM have that option of ambient display and uh, since this device supports an AMOLED display 
it would have been a, a great help talking about uh, talking about the performance of this room it is uh, nothing short of incredible you can do whatever you want uh, without any issues i tested some games like asphalt 8 on this rom and uh, i can easily play asphalt 8 on the highest graphics without any issues animations on this rom are super smooth and there is not a bit of lag in anything that's all for this video if you found this uh, review helpful i will appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on this device thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye bye.